What's up everybody? It's 3 in the morning right now, and I wanted to do a updated tier list uh, for Dead by Daylight because the last time I did it was the ranking everything in tier list maker video, and I was really just doing that really quickly through the other list. I wanted to make a in-depth video, and the last one I did was a year ago, and it was awful. Uh, I don't agree with it at all anymore, so... I am going to make an updated list for whatever version Dead by Daylight is now. Put it up on the screen. And uh, here we go. If I'm being honest, I saw Tofu doing one, so I want to do one as well. Uh, best killer in the game? It's got to go to Nurse. Come on. Uh, Nurse is by far the best killer in the game. Uh, she ignores any sort of obstacles that the survivors can do. She can just go right through them. Loops. You're getting looped around some wall, go through the wall. It's inc it's crazy. She totally breaks new grounds for the game. Uh, the only thing that is kind of good against her is dead hard, but even then, it's one use and then you're exhausted. So you can only use it once, and she's already back on you anyway. So uh, there's not really much that can be said about Nurse that hasn't already been said. Let's do top tier. Mid tier. Boats here. There we go. That solves my problems that I was having. All right. Um, let's see here. Uh, below her, it's either Billy or Spirit. Because I love Billy. He's been number two for a while in this game, and he's really good. He's number two for. He's been number two for a while for good reason. But Spirit is really good. Uh. I gotta pick Billy. Billy is so strong. He has the best mobility in the game, which is something Spirit definitely doesn't have. Uh, he has one shot potential, which again is something Spirit doesn't have. Uh, and he can get looped pretty hard, but if you're smart with your chainsaw and your mind games and whatnot, what can you do? So, Billy is devastating. He can, like, hook someone on the other end of the map and you're doing a gen far off. Any other killer, you could probably finish the gen. Billy? He's right over there immediately. So, yeah. Uh, next up, the Spirit, of course. Spirit is the mind game killer. And I hate playing against her because she makes me second guess myself all the time. Second Shield's M2. She can be doing a thousand different things and you have no idea because she's invisible. And tracking and how loud survivors are, you can basically see them. Uh, in Good Spirits, I've seen incredible plays. Uh, but... Honestly, she's too strong to put into words. You can definitely put her into words. I'm just loopy. Uh, she's good. She's good at mind gaming. Passive phasing is annoying. And she can phase walk, and that's strong. Next killer. Uh, Huntress or Hag, Huntress or Hag, Huntress or Hag, Hag. Um, I've been a Hag man for a while. I probably still am. I just moved away from her for a little bit to try out new killers. Um, and I've always said that Hag is really strong. If it weren't for Billy or Spirit, obviously, she would be right up there. Uh, it's really close between these top three. Um, uh, Hag, I've seen people criticize her looping, uh, potential. Uh, I don't understand that at all. Loops are completely destroyed against Hag. You just trap one side, go around, and it's basically all, every time a guaranteed hit, unless they throw the pallet, or unless they don't throw the pallet, which is highly unlikely. And even if they don't, you can just hit them again because they're not making another loop. Uh, she has really good map pressure. Traps create a very dangerous map presence. Keeps her ever scared. She has the best unhook game in the in the in the game, which is why Make Your Choice is one of my favorite perks. And I don't know why people don't know about it. It's really strong on her. It is the strongest on her because she doesn't have one shot capability. She's basically Make a choice is basically needed on her. Uh, there's fun builds you can do with her, but uh, I guess that's it. Flashlights do destroy her. The flashlights are really strong against her, which is why I often run Franklin's Demise to uh, reduce the amount of flashlights. Because if your traps are negated, you're not getting any sort of slugging or snowballing or any, not slugging, snowballing in the game at all. Uh, and then next would be Huntress. This is the top tier. 
Huntress used to be number three before Spirit and Hag got her rework. Uh, I remember when she was really strong. Iridescent Head is still one of the strongest add-ons in the game, if not the strongest. Uh, next to five with Nurse or Yoink build. Uh, but those are perks anyway, so whatever. Um, yeah. Huntress is the first range killer in the game. Uh, her hatchets make devastating map pressure, map presence. Uh, she, her range capabilities allow for some of the best plays I've ever seen in the game. Um, and she's high interest, what more can be said. Anyway, mid-tier. I'm gonna go with... So we're gonna go for Freddy, Plague, Ghostface, I think. Yeah, well, we'll start with Freddy. Um, Gen Teleport is so, so strong. It is his biggest strength, I think. And Dream Snares and Dream Pallets, as his two powers, are extremely good. Dream Snares didn't amaze me too much when they first came out, but I I don't know if they're better than Dream Pallets. I have a soft spot for Dream Pallets. I don't know if they're actually better, but I, I think they're both pretty good. Uh, Dream Snares make it so that you can always proc a slow vault where you'd usually get a fast vault, which is my favorite thing to do with those on really powerful windows like the ironworks window or the one on coal tower in the house. Just pop a um, dream snare there, and it'll always be a slow vault. You can pretty often get a hit because slow vaults are broken, as we all know. Uh, and I like to use it as shack as well because people like to proc fast vaults there. Slow vault, there's your hit. Uh, he has, uh, yeah, gel, gen, teleport, jelleport. Gen teleport is still super strong. Uh, it makes his map presence and map mobility very good, especially with barbecue. And Pop goes the weasel. Uh, and yeah, it's the one thing that these two don't have that Freddy does have is map mobility and stuff like that. Granted, it's one of the weaker map mobilities next to Hag. But it's still my mobility, right? Take it or leave it. Plague. She, the one thing that makes her better than Ghostface is her attack is ranged, and it's like a flamethrower. It's like Huntress with a flamethrower, that's what I've always said. And she is the second best killer with that ability. Um, and poison, or not poisoning people, making people sick is still really strong. Uh, she has one of the best gen protector stuff in the game, by like being able to peek on gens, mix three gens a breeze with her better than doctor even and i've always said that uh she still gets kind she does get looped a lot but with corrupt purge if you have that don't even worry about it uh it can be sometimes frustrating with the puke physics but she's still super strong and then ghost face right next to her uh he's better than myers simply because of how quickly you can expose people and how you can manipulate how often you get seen uh, because survivors I've always said this, and it's always pissed me off about him at first, is when Ghostface is looking at you and the survivor is looking at Ghostface to break him out of his thing, it is in, like, a war against each other. Like, And normally, the survivor would break him out quicker than he can mark people. However, Ghostface can go behind a, a wall or whatever, and all that progress of him getting, like, pulled out is gone. And... Uh, playing against a good ghost face that knows, hey, I should get behind a wall so I can finish marking this person is one of the funniest things. Like a survivor just standing there trying to get you out and you just dig duck behind a box or something and then just keep poking out and stalking him and then going back down when he sees you and then just marking them. It's great. Uh, and before when you got pulled out all the times, obviously he was really bad, but now he's actually pretty good. You know, the one thing he doesn't have is map mobility and loop pressure, but with one shot capabilities, it's still pretty even. Um, then we got... I'm gonna go with... I'm gonna go with Clown. And that's weird. But I'm gonna go with Clown above Myers. Uh, Clown was the gateway of mid-tier in my last list. And he is one of the best at shutting down loops with his gas. You throw it on one side go around they hit the gas and then you moonwalk back it's always a hit it's incredible uh and it's one of the more simplistic powers but it's still pretty devastating uh and yeah it's i mean that's the only thing it does it's pretty basic so yeah he's really good 
at shutting down loops, and that's about it. Also, he's an M1 killer, but he's pretty good with other perks like that. Yeah. And the next up is Myers. The lowest of our one shot. Oh, well, we got this guy. Uh, yeah, but Myers is he's still pretty good, even though he's got kind of bumped down with all the good killers that have been added. Uh, Myers, it, he's so weird. Uh, his tier stuff is, and stalking up to, like, you know, tier 3 uh, is a pop away, just like a one tap. They're done. Still super powerful. You can get cut by your team, which is always fun. Uh, yeah, but My Myers just still get pretty loop, which is one of his biggest flaws, and most of the flaws of these mid-tier people. Uh, but he, he still has one-shot capability, which bumps him, up, bumps him up a little bit. And, you know, you can play jump scare Myers and whatnot. Anyway, our beautiful low tier. All these killers. Unfortunately, Trapper, you you got it at low tier. I don't know how. Actually, no, you're going to mid tier. Trapper in mid tier. Uh, it's all dependent on how dumb your survivors are to step in your traps. That's the only thing that's unfortunate about him is it, it depends on the tra the survivors stepping in your traps. He is still a 115 M1 killer, and that's always nice uh, because if you run loops super tight, you can usually get hit and surprise people, which is something I like to do a lot as Trapper. And if you're smart with the trap placements, you can usually hit them, but again, it depends on your survivors. So sometimes you never get traps, sometimes you get a bunch. But that's all that he said about Trapper. Next is low tier. These cuties. We're going to start off with Pig. Um, Pig would be good if she didn't have endgame collapse destroying her. Uh, but her traps do slow the game down a lot. She used to be okay, uh, but now she's not so good. Her ambush attack is still can be devastating in you no know, loops. You know, like bait one side with the ambush, then go back. Usually get a hit unless the server catches it. Um, yeah, pig is whatever. Next up, Doctor. Yeah, Doctor. Um, so Doctor uh, has the best tracking in the game. And he can shock people. And he's not fun to a lot of people. I actually like playing against Doctor. I think he's fun. Yeah, you can loop him pretty hard, which is not good. This is why he's in low tier. Uh, but if you're smart with your, your uh, shocks, you can you know, sometimes get people. But he's pretty weak. So yeah, He's got no one-shot capability. He has, he has no gem mobility. He's just kind of sitting here with a smile on his face, like, please send to me. Anyway, next up's Wraith. Wraith is better with Windstorm, but he still gets looped pretty hard. Uh, if you're smart with your Windstorms, you can sometimes get people, but it's still Wraith. It's what you get on the package. It's helpful, but it's nothing. It's nothing like Freddy over here, getting bumped all the way from low tier all the way to the top of mid tier. It's crazy. Can you get over there? Thank you. <laughs> and then next up... His legion. I used to think he was the worst, but I my eyes have been opened. My third eye has opened. Legion is fine, mostly because he's a level one five killer now, and he can sort of rush people down. But his ability is still pointless. I don't know why it still exists. It's only used to injure people quickly. There's literally no point to use it if the person's injured, uh, except to see other people, of course. And if you want to chain attack that. The only th good thing about him is slow heal build. That is literally the only thing. He's still so bad. Anyway, the, uh, the worst killer in Dead by Daylight is Bubba. Leatherface is an unfortunate son of a gun. He was in the mid middle of mid-tier on my last list, which is one of my biggest regrets. Bubba is so bad. Uh, his chainsaw rarely hits, especially in a standard loop. You just gotta kind of bloodlust around until you get right behind them and even sometimes if they have like sprint burst or something uh you're not gonna get it of course but yeah you don't get any acceleration of course without add-ons you don't get any acceleration on your chainsaw so you have to be basically hugging them to get the chainsaw uh he's no map mobility his one shot potential is suspect at best he's just kind of bubba sitting here being dumb he gets looped to oblivion the only fun thing to do with him is Usain Bubba and Bubba's Basement, and that's it. 
So there's your tier list for Dead by Daylight as of patch. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm gonna go to bed now. Goodbye.